Everybody's talking aviation. Everybody's in the air. So why not me? If you're going to keep in step with the times, you've got to know how to fly. If you know an aviator, prove your air mind. It maybe it will impress him. Take a deep breath, get ready, and jump. But don't land on your head. If the flyer calls you, fly right over to him, and the chances are you'll be rewarded. Maybe you'll get a ride in an automobile to the airport. And who can tell? Maybe a ride in an airplane. If he hands you working togs, put them on and stand by. Don't get impatient. Don't let anybody know you're anxious. Anything can happen at an airport. You even might make the acquaintance of a playful dog. If so, don't be backward. Play ball with him. Act nonchalant, as though you don't care what happens, even though you do. Relax. You must completely relax before the takeoff, and this is a good way. When you've played enough, get to work. Painting is a good way to limber up for a ride in the sky. Sometimes I'm not so smart and a little clumsy, but never mind. Should you feel a bit fatigued, it's a good idea to take a bit of sleep. Sometimes you may see things strange, but don't be backward. Investigate everything. That's the way to learn. One way to get used to flying is to do some ground loops, and this wheel is just the thing. Sure, I'm dizzy, but it's good training. For high altitude, you need oxygen. So if there's some around, it's good to get used to it, even though it tickles. Here's another tip: Don't wait to be told to test everything. If there's an inner tube around and you're not sure whether it's in good condition, well, find out. To be an aviator, you've got to be a mechanic first. If the engine needs attention, well, go to work. Maybe it needs nailing up, and a couple of well-placed spikes will help to hold it together. All experienced aviators do the repair work on the ground, where nothing can fall very far. See that all nuts and bolts are tight, because once you're aloft, it will be too late to do anything. Do the job right, even to injecting a shot of grease. Here's another thing you shouldn't forget before going aloft: chewing gum to keep your tummy in synchronization with the motor. You know what I mean. The next thing is very important for your comfort. Be sure to select the proper flying togs and don't be late for the takeoff. Get ready, get set, and now I'm really going to fly. I'm not late. He's ahead of time. He's taking a chance. I haven't finished inspecting. I'll make it. I'll make it. But it's going to be close. Once you're aloft, you should stay in the cockpit. But if you haven't inspected the struts, why, just crawl out and do some testing on the wing. Be sure not to worry. Just hang on with your hands and feet and hold tight. Don't let anyone disturb you until you're satisfied. Everything is okay. Never become frightened, no matter how high you soar. 
course, the pilot is the captain, so it's good to humor him a bit. Make several trips back to the cockpit to see that everything is okay. Unless you're entirely satisfied with your job, don't stay long. Go back out on the wing and finish the inspection. It is possible that you may feel strange and a bit woozy, but don't let that phase you. Even though everything seems to be topsy-turvy, it's best to hang on and hold tight. This position is recommended for folks who feel upside down. Other planes may stun, but no stunts here until I'm ready. As I said, obey the captain, but don't be in too much of a hurry. Take your time, or you might slip and go into a nosedive. Jiminy Crickets, what goes on? Twelve o'clock sharp, you should have your lunch. Out on the wing is a good place. Even though a sandwich tastes like sawdust, don't let on. Eat all you can and then follow it up with some black coffee. Fruit for dessert is good for your tummy. Chimps like me should eat bananas, but I'll let the fellows down below have the peel. Don't give up until your job is finished, no matter how you feel. Even though you're sorry you ate any lunch, don't give up. You're still going up. Of course, there is such a thing as carrying a good thing too far, especially if you start to feel green all over. Once the inspection is finished, you should report back to the captain in the cockpit. Once you're in the cockpit, you should... Oh, me, oh, my. Once you're in the cockpit, you should... I'm all choked up. Let's see, where was I? Or rather, where am I? Let's try again. Once you're in the cockpit, you should... Oh, what's the use? When you come out of it, get ready to land as you head for the flying field right side up. You hope. landing, don't be in a hurry. Leave the ship leisurely. Just take your time and watch your step. Oops! And that, folks, is how to become an aviator and qualify for a pilot's license in one easy lesson. Now that you know how to fly, jump right up to the window and collect your sheepskin. But don't tell them that your insides are still up in the air.